Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gimba Red, and today we'll be discussing which wavelength of near-infrared penetrates the deepest. And so that's the million dollar question that many influencers put a lot of emphasis on, and that's why people are scorching their skin with high intensity. But a lot of times we've lost sight of the fact that wavelength is the primary determining factor of penetration depth. And here you can see just a crude illustration that as you get longer wavelengths from blue to green to red to near infrared, you generally get deeper penetration. Then when you get to mid infrared and far infrared, you get less penetration due to water absorption. But which wavelength actually penetrates the absolute deepest? That's the biggest question, because it's often implied that deeper penetration always gives better results for direct stimulation of the cells. Uh, but we know a lot of the science and a lot of the leading experts have turned to talking about systemic effects and direct effects of red light therapy being a very prominent aspect of red light therapy. So it's not all about deep penetration. And it feels like a conversation I've had many times is that it's not all about deep penetration. It's about how you use it. And so the answer may be 1,082, according to some recent data. Yes, it's 1082. They even highlighted it right here. I didn't add these arrows. They highlighted it themselves as a peak of penetration. And to give full credit, this comes from a recent textbook on water filtered IRA. It's from chapter three, physical and photobiological basics of WIRA hyperthermia. And you can read it entirely for free online by using the link in the description or the link I, I show here on the screen. It's completely free. You don't have to buy the book like I did. Uh, I think it's a very important topic because what they're doing is they're using high intensity near infrared that's filtered by water. So they're removing the heating wavelengths, but they're purposely using higher intensities above 80 milliwatts per centimeter squared to cause a heating effect. So it's a heat therapy, even though they're using near infrared wavelengths that could also have photobiological modulation effects maybe there's a combination but it's more of a heat therapy and it's not classified as PBM because we know PBM is non-thermal but if we zoom in on this graph we get to learn a bunch of things I added a bunch of lines to help me kind of identify uh, some important ranges and so we can see up here in the key that it's telling us the transmittance through an earlobe and so transmittance is a fancy way of saying penetration of, of light going through something and it's very clever that they're using an earlobe which is a relatively thin part of the skin and they were able to do it on living humans and so i think that's really key i think a lot of the older data that was saying 810 nanometers was the best penetration wavelength that was done on cadaver tissue on dead tissue and so it doesn't fully represent the dynamics of human skin it doesn't have as much blood um, so there were a lot of problems with the older type of data so this data i think is really good and that's why it kind of supersedes the older data is that they were using living tissue through a, you know a living human being on you know relevant tissue and so that's very important that they were able to do the transmittance through both fair skin and black skin we see 1a is the fair skin this is black line here and then 1b is the dark skin is this green dashed line uh, so that way you see there's a tremendous difference in penetration depths depending on your skin type and so i'll analyze the fair skin line first because it's got some interesting peaks and valleys i want to look at we see 1082 is very clearly the highest peak and I calculate it's about 5% deeper penetration than the 800s range. And so, you know, there's a lot of squabbling around which wavelengths and parameters penetrate the deepest, but a lot of times it's very marginal differences. And so if it's only a 5% difference, is that super significant? Obviously, if you really have a deeper target, then you want to optimize the penetration. Uh, but there's a lot of wiggle room if it's only a 5% difference. And so I would say there's kind of a range between 1048 and 1118 where you get this, this kind of peak of penetration that's superior to the 800s. And if we look closely at the 800s, we've got a range from about 800 to about 900. That's kind of the optimal penetration range uh, for fair skin. So, and it's, you know, it's mostly flat. It does seem to creep up a little bit. Maybe there's a maxima around 878 here so that's kind of the deepest penetration in the 
uh, 800s range. But again, with a rough calculation, we're talking about a difference of less than 3%. So for squabbling over, you know, 810, 830, 850, 880, uh, now it's really a difference of less than 3% between all those wavelengths. So, you know, you don't want to get too caught up in the noise of like, oh no, you know, I've got the wrong wavelength that it doesn't penetrate deep enough. But we're talking about a 3% difference. So you can offset that pretty easily by just increasing your dose a little bit if you really think you need, you know, that deeper penetration. And so for the dark skin, this is very important. We see very poor penetration in the 600s range compared to the fair skin. So, you know, the red range is going to get superficially absorbed by melanin. Melanin, and you know that could cause heating problems if you use too much of it uh, but just generally you're getting significantly less penetration uh, if you have a darker skin type and you're using the red wavelengths and we can see very clearly now that the penetration does significantly improve through the 800s range so from 800 up to a maxima about 910 is where you get increasingly better penetration and so that means if you have a darker skin type, you really want to maximize the penetration depth. You would choose 850 over, say, 810, because the 850 is bypassing more of the melanin. And we can see the peak at 1082 far outweighs uh, the 800s now. And so I calculate about a 35% increase if you can get around that 1082 range uh, that's where you're really going to maximize the penetration especially if you have darker skin but roughly you do have some wiggle room maybe between 1020 to 1150 is a very nice window of, of penetration for darker skin types and of course i can't just leave you hanging of telling you the best penetration wavelength and not telling you where you can find it unfortunately i don't have a product to sell you you can get a lot of this range from sunlight so you can appreciate sunlight as having a lot of these deep penetrating wavelengths in the 800s the uh you know 1000s and all this stuff so uh, get some sunlight and enjoy that deep penetration for free or you can get an incandescent bulb which has a broad spectrum so that emits some of these longer wavelengths so that's it for today thanks for tuning in